Nicosia Station. And Kamon Freeman uh, is the producer, general manager. Am I getting it right? All right. And and janitor. <laughs> he will be doing uh, interviews with people who want to be interviewed. So this is your chance to talk about your organization. Um, am I to believe that you you are a progressive station, so that means you will be willing to broadcast anything that is neither obscene, uh, unethical, or slanderous? No, we just want to tell the truth. Just tell the truth. Bring a drink. I'd have a drink. He said you can even have a drink uh, or while you're being interviewed? Yes. Is it that type of party? Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Well, they, you know, there's a Latin phrase that says "in vino veritas." You know, I like can in 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 drink there is truth. So, you know, we've been doing this for 17 years. We would like to come back next year. By the way, the uh, boat ride uh, is uh, next year is Saturday, September the 27th. Same time, same place. Contract has already been signed, and reservations are already being taken. Okay, I'll, I'll tell them right now. Uh, ACC board members, once again, you're, you're called to serve. We want to move the raffle as quickly as possible so we can get to the dancing. So we need volunteers right now to, go, to help us in the uh, captain's lounge so that we can separate the tickets. If you have a couple of minutes to help us out so that we can move this along, please go. Oh, Vaughn, you will help. Just follow uh, Thomas Bird. Anyone who can help us separate the tickets. You're going to help them too? Thank you. This goes straight back to the, uh, to the captain lounge. May I have your attention, please? Um, you have to pardon the fact that my usually stellar voice is not in full force. Um, there are a lot of reasons for that, and I won't go into it. But I want to make an announcement that I'm sure will cause the executive director of the Anacostia Coordinating Council a bit of uncomfortability and a bit of embarrassment, which pleases me enormously. I love being a thorn in his side because he's my best friend. I'm supposed to torment him. You all may not know this, but on tomorrow, September 29th, Philip Pennell will be celebrating his 75th birthday. Actually, he'll only be 63. Tis a pity. So, he doesn't need his rent paid because he has a condo that is fully paid for. And he's now looking at reverse mortgage, so he doesn't need money for that. We already see how he overindulges himself in fashion, so he doesn't need money for that. We also know that he drives a very well-equipped vehicle. So he doesn't need money for that. He doesn't need money for anything, really. And you know, Philip is not particularly a materialistic person, but he likes symbolistic things. So those of you who in any way want to honor his birthday, a nice card, a telephone call, an email, trouble him on his Blackberry. All of those are the kinds of things that to him would be very, very special. You know, he's an only child, so he didn't grow up with siblings, and so he's always had that kind of separate and wanting to be a part of things. So anytime he gets that kind of recognition from people, it really makes him feel special. And because he is my best friend and my brother, 
I want to do anything that supports him feeling good about who he is. So, I would like for us all not to sing happy birthday, but to, in one big gesture, just say happy birthday, Philip. Happy birthday, Philip. All right. And also, while I'm here, you know me, I like hogging things. Philip has um, some very special people here as his guests. Don't go anywhere, Mac. Right to my left is his cousin, Mac Owens, and Mac's very beautiful wife, Dorothy. And they're visiting from Virginia. We all just got back from burying their uncle, unfortunately. Those are his relatives on his mother's side. On this side of the room are Philip's relatives on his father's side, his father's sister's children. We have Dorothy and her husband, Alvin. We have Michael and his wife, whose name I've forgotten, Debbie. Debbie. We have the beautiful Marcy and her native Washingtonian husband, Nikki. And you have his cousin Louis Braithwaite and his lovely wife Dorita, who by the way is developing and has almost ready a beautiful jewelry line that she's going to be doing. So I, I guess I want to generate some money for my sister so she can give me my cut. Okay, so I'm so glad that you all are here. Glad. I'm so, oh my, how could I miss the beautiful K? Miss Kay, who is my heart, who I was crying because I didn't know she was here. And they said, Mickey, she's at the end of the table. And so there she is, Miss Kay, his other cousin. Okay, I'm turning it back over to Philip and the raffle. All right, we're getting ready to go into the raffle. We just have one brief announcement from the Anacostia Community Museum. Thank you, a representative of our cultural jewel, Takia. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Takia Rogers. I'm the director of advancement at the Anacostia Community Museum. I would just like to thank the ACC for inviting us, especially Mr. Dixon. He is one of our advisory board members, as well as Ms. Tanya Kinlo, who's in the house. And uh, Mr. Andy Shalau, who's in the back, has also served as our advisory members. Um, we just want to thank you guys for continued supporting the museum for the past 47 years. Um, we just finished um, completing our anniversary event two weeks ago. So I'd like to thank you guys for supporting that event, especially um, Delegate um, Eleanor Holmes and Mayor Gray. Thank you so much for the donations and for supporting us for that event. I'd also like to introduce our new Director of Education, who will be bringing more outreach programming on behalf of the museum, Mr. Paul Perry. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. And uh, ditto on everything my colleague just said. Uh, I am the new Director of Education for the Anacostia Community Museum. We are a truly a community museum. Uh, we provide programming for all our constituents in the neighborhood, families, children, uh, teachers, adults. Um, so we would encourage all of you, if you're in the neighborhood, please stop by. We have uh, wonderful exhibits going on. We always have programming going on. As a matter of fact, uh, in, of all the Smithsonian institutions, museums, the Anacostia Community Museum produces more programs than any other Smithsonian Museum. We have that distinction, so uh, come on by and uh, visit us uh, when it, whenever you have the chance. Thank you very much. Okay, it's now, it is now raffle time. Raffle time. And to announce the first prize that we're giving out, may I have Andy Shalal? 
Andy Shalal, the owner of Bus Boys and Poets, too, in the District of Columbia, and Eatonsville Restaurant. Andy. All right, y'all have to listen up there because we're calling out numbers now. If you pulled out your money, I'm sure you want to know if you have a chance of winning. So I assume the only folks who are talking are the people who didn't buy raffle tickets. So we and you will make your presence known by the sound that you make. All right? Okay, no, you, you will. Andy, tell them what they're going to get. Thank you for supporting ACC. Thank you, Philip. You get a dinner for two at Bus Boys and Poets and a dinner for two at Eatonville. And it's your choice. So we'll have two raffles, one after the other. Okay. Thank you. All right. You will. Now, which one is this for? What we'll do is you'll get a choice of which one you want, and then we'll get the other one to the other person. So 614932. Right. So which one do you want? Do you want do you want bus boys or Edenville? Edenville. All right. We have the same birthday, she told us, and we're both only children. So maybe we need to uh, form a support group. Okay, all right, is it? So you will see Andy to get the uh, particulars. Okay, the next one, okay, we had Edensville. Next one is Bus Boys and Poets. I wasn't trying to shut you up, Fonis. I just wanted you to make sure that you were focusing on your ticket because you might be able to win this. So you can give it up to me for my birthday, right? Here, go ahead. All right, we'll, we'll buy you a special birthday dinner, Philip. You don't have to worry about it. You don't need to pull a raffle. Uh, six nine nine one three six. Thank you. Okay, you had to talk with Andy. You'll get it. You'll hook it up. Okay, Lamont, I'll 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 second uh, vice chair step two. Okay, next we're going to have. Um, Next prize is coming from Natalie Williams. Natalie? Natalie Williams, um, who is starting a new foundation that I think kicks off next, uh, next Saturday. And by the way, last Saturday, Natalie Williams was elected the new president of the Ward 8 Democrats. I did that five times. You have my prayers and my sympathy. <laughs> All right, Natalie. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. So I am a one-year uh, cancer survivor. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so excited. On October 2nd last year, I had a double mastectomy and followed by uh, chemotherapy, followed by radiation, and I've never felt more alive and healthier than I do today. Thank God. Thank God. On my anniversary, in honor of all breast cancer survivors and supporters, we are holding something at Matthews Memorial Baptist Church uh, called the Bustier Brunch. An afternoon with the girls. How many people know what the girls are? Okay. <laughs> Boussier brunch, an afternoon with the girls. And we have Miss J.C. Hayward. Miss J.C. Hayward, who is also a cancer survivor, one year herself. She will be our um, guest speaker for the day. And we have Dr. E. Faye Williams, who will join us as the mistress of ceremony for the day. So I am honored to, uh, they're going to get two free tickets. The tickets that I pull out of here, uh, we're going to uh, uh, provide two free tickets to the brunch. It's Saturday, next Saturday, October 5th, from 11 to 2 at Matthews Memorial. I also have extra tickets here for sale. Tickets are $25. All right. Oh. 
Okay. Six, nine, eight, nine, two, zero. Six, nine, eight, nine, two, zero. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Natalie. Next, Wolf Trap. Two tickets to Wolf Trap, and this prize is being given by the very lovely Robert Sal Coverdale. Okay. As you know, Wolf Trap has a large agenda of shows, and so with Capital City Associates, that's my company that helps to pay the rent. But anyway, we manage local and minority participation on construction projects. I want to give a shout out to uh, Hannah Hawkins and her team. You know, we sponsored them here today. Uh, we, uh, we have some of our young, her young entrepreneurs here as our guests. So the winner of this drawing gets, de gets a, two free tickets to the show of your choice at Wolf Trap. Compliments of Capital City Associates, my uh, my company. So let's do the drum roll and, and pull a tech, pull a name. Go deep, he said go deep. I thank everybody, because I'm a native Washingtonian and I love giving it back. I can't see, I ain't got my glasses on. <laughs> What's the number? Six, one, four, Five six five six one four five six five. Where's that ticket? Come we on. got a winner! Two tickets to Wolf Trap. Come on down! Come on down! Thank you so much. Thank you, Rosalind. The next prize is offered by Commissioner Anthony Muhammad. Commissioner Muhammad. Where is Commissioner Muhammad? There he is. You got to keep moving to the left for the broadcast. To the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. To the left. Where are the tickets? Where are the tickets? Where are the tickets? What are the tickets? You are getting two tickets to one of the um, first seven districts CAC awards banquet. That's the MPD. We have some good MP officers, so we want to congratulate them, give them an award, and we want the win winners to come and participate. This. The awards banquet will be next Friday, October the 4th. Oh, you're not finished? Well, how can you pull the ticket? You got to tell them. No, you can't do it like that, all right? <laughs> he didn't want me to do it my way. He wanted me to do it Phil's way. But it will be at the Navy Yard, October the 4th at 6.30 p.m. at the Washington Navy Yard, and we want all who would like to come, if you don't have a ticket, I still have some tickets that you can purchase and come to this great event. Now we have the ticket in our hand. It says ticket on the, it says ticket and it has a number on it. We will call the number six, one, four, Five, six, four. Shall we do it again? Six, one, four, five, six, four. No winner. The same winner has won again.
he can't believe it. Maybe he should shake the box up and maybe he should shake the box up and we'll get a different winner. Okay, um, look, I think Lamont, he wants to take his ankle bracelet off first. We'll keep you in prayer. Okay, and the, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, the next, um, the next, the next prize will be dinner for four at Georgina's uh, restaurant and bar and or uh, what is uh, affectionately known as Players Lounge. The owner couldn't be here, but to draw this ticket, I'm gonna bring forth our fire chief. Fire Chief Ellaby, can you, would you please come up here and draw this ticket? Excuse me, Fire Chief Ellaby, would you please come forth? I don't wanna please come forth before I start commenting about response time. <laughs> Which is excellent. I mean, <laughs> we've done a count too and everything like that. We're below capacity. First of all, bring greetings. Greetings, everybody. <laughs> This is for dinner for four at Georgie's restaurant. Does not include alcohol. Number six nine eight nine three nine. Six nine eight nine three nine. Six nine eight nine three nine. Going once. Thank you, Chief Allaby. Yes. Okay, um, the next one is uh, the art. This is uh, two tickets for the, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, Nutcracker. Finally, you want to come and draw this? Oh, are you here for the art? I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Here, you're now. Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine Taylor. I'm the development and marketing manager at The Arc, well actually building bridges across the river, which is the managing organization of The Arc. The Arc stands for Town Hall Education Arts Recreation Campus. And we have a beautiful 365 seat theater, which often, every single year, holds the Nutcracker. It premieres uh, at The Arc first, until uh, before it goes to the, the Warner Theater. So uh, we'll be raffling off two tickets to see it while it's at the Ark, and we would love to have you there. Um, it's at the Ark, it's November 30th and December 1st, and there are select dates for the Warner Theater uh, throughout December. Oh. Is, it, is it okay? Yes. Okay. 614-783. 614-783. Anyone? Okay. All right, and the ticket number, oh, wait, we got somebody. Where is the winner? Oh, it's Tishaka. Okay, Congress, Congresswoman Norton, the prize that you're offering. Um, this prize is uh, to go to the members dining room to have lunch with me, uh, the, lun the lunch where, where members have lunch and then you can give them a piece of your mind.
One, four, seven, seven, nine. One four seven seven. No, I'm sorry. Six one four. <laughs> seven seven nine. Wait a minute. Oh my God. He won both of them back to back. And our last prize will, will be given by Mayor Gray. You all heard earlier there will be four tickets to Drake, who, by the way, Philip is a rapper, okay? He is a rapper, and very good from what I'm told. Four tickets to the Verizon Center on October 31st at 7 o'clock to Drake. One, wait a minute, six, one, five. Six, one, five, oh, one, seven. Maybe that person left. <laughs> six, one, five, oh, one, seven. Got it? Somebody in the back. Somebody back there, apparently. You got it? You got it? Okay, come on. All right. Yeah, four tickets. You got it, all right. There you go. Congratulations. There you go. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, now it's time to take up the tables. Uh, staff member Mike. With the people uh, who are sitting at the tables on the dance floor. Um, and as soon as we have cleared the dance floor, we'll put on the music. The upstairs deck is open. Also, remember, you can come over here to WEAC Radio and get interviewed and promote whatever you are promoting. Thank you.